Good morning, Minecrafters. This is Monday, uh, November 6, 2023. Welcome to the uh, wonderful, wonderful Honor Hall. We are live here every day, 10 a.m. Eastern, here on Twitch.tv, the Big Red 1967. This is the Honor Hall with all the fine members of the Red Rider group. And um, early this morning when I first, when I first got up, uh, it looked like there was uh, 117 subscribers to YouTube. I'm up to 121. So guys, thank you so very much. Please keep up the great work. Uh, spread the word. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully soon we'll be getting some better uh, tutorials. I could put some editing out here. And then we can really uh, take off with this uh, channel. But yeah, every little bit helps you guys. Today we're going to be uh, drying out the uh, sponges that I used yesterday and I think we're going to actually build a uh, beehive over at the Ocean Monument as well. So let's get over there and while we're over here too, um, yesterday I took a look to see about um, the uh, nether portal and us facing the wall and so forth. Uh, let's just check the honey. Yeah, we can maybe get some blocks out of that. Let's see. That's why I'm thinking about uh, building a beehive at the, at the monument, because you need to be in close proximity um, for this to work. And since we want to come over here occasionally, we're not going to get a lot of honey blocks. So let's see about taking down these portals. I'm going to see if I can put the portal actually inside the outer hall as well. But I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Uh, I, I did get a good comment uh, as well. Some folks are checking out. I've been I try to add as much as I can to the YouTube Shorts and um, TikTok and um, Twitter as much clips as I can from the day's streaming, and I think it's working. It's actually helping out the channel and fit my Facebook page as well. I, th I believe um, if you look up the Big, Big Red 1967 on Facebook, it should be out there. If not, I'm going to have to. Uh, check that page out But any case I uh, hope you guys I hope you had a good weekend uh, We've been really working hard on this ocean monument um, I'm thinking if we get that beehive put in We can actually make a much bigger machine and make this go much faster But until that happens, we're gonna probably have to go back to the village the desert village get more sand And I'm probably gonna to have to bring some ice so I can increase the ice road that goes out that way um, these portals were because I had a portal set up on the other side and um, they weren't linking and they were being pushed over here so I'm gonna see. oh and then yesterday um, I had made a point that when I entered the nether I'm always facing the wall inside the room the nether room or the portal room so I looked into it and I think both portals have to be facing a certain direction therefore when you enter and exit you face the same direction I think that's how it works but I'm going to experiment and make sure that's true and this is becoming a real eye <laughs> a real eyesore sitting out here like this but yeah oh today yeah I forgot I've been trying to start, keep with the tradition of the national holiday thing uh, let me check the audio real quick All right. Yeah, I figured because uh, in the morning when we first start the stream, um, it'd be nice to have something to add to the stream when we first start. So let's see here. National Day ca Calendar. So if you go to nationaldaycalendar.com, each day it'll tell you um, <laughs> what day, like what thing that whatever event they're celebrating for that day 
Um, so I'll tell you in a second here. Let me just pick up this stuff I just dropped. Oh, I'm using the wrong pick. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to wear out my silk touch for no reason. Um, let me see here. So today is November 6th. I think, right? Yeah. And uh, it's Job Action Day. First Monday in November. It's International Day for Preventing the... <laughs> The exploitation of the environment in war and armed conflict. And also it is Color the World Orange Day, first Monday in November. National Nachos Day, which is November 6th today, National Nachos Day. National Saxophone Day. So if that connects to you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful November 6th.
I don't know. <laughs> and I'd rather not have him uh, close to this portal. So I'm gonna just going to put it back to the original way I had it. I don't know. I guess it just depends on the way you face it going in. I don't know. I thought I had this figured out, but I guess not. I also looked up about camels. Um, so I thought you could pick chess on camels. You can't. So it's just... Uh, you can put a saddle on a camel and that's about it but you can pull along the llamas and um, put uh, chess on llama well it's not that they you can put chess but they can they have inventory slots if you put a blanket on a llama uh, donkeys can carry chess i think that's pretty much it as far as chess are concerned um but yeah i, I don't know i thought for some reason that the camels carry chess but they don't i was thinking that'd be a cool thing for Minecraft to add on in a future update is uh, so that maybe uh, a camel would carry maybe like camping gear if you're out in the desert that'd be a cool thing for a camel to carry <laughs> kind of like an RV <laughs> it's already pre-packed and all that good stuff So hopefully, once we get this um, monument dried out and get the guardian farm put in, um, I can start really uh, customizing this nether hub. Let's see, I read, I want, the further away from him, the better. I had the frog in here to um, go after uh, magma cubes, uh, or baby magma cubes for frog lights. They'll eat them. And a lot of times, I'll be in this area, and there'll be tons of magma uh, cubes in the area. So um, I figured that'd be good use for him. I actually have a um, kind of a nether base. Um, let me see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I just want to make sure it goes all the way up. And um, we could add some more frogs down there too. But for now, yeah, I don't know. I guess it just depends the way you face entering the portal is the way you're going to face coming out of the portal, I suppose. Well, in that case, it did. <laughs> I think I got it fixed. So this goes, I think this is east to west. I don't have a map on it, it's hard to tell. I forget the which one is east and west. Yes, I got it working. Now this goes, uh, see I gotta look this up and see. What are the X, Y, Z coordinates in Minecraft? Is the X coordinate in Minecraft north or south? The X coordinate represents the distance along the horizontal plane east or west of the origin. Uh, but I don't know if that's from Minecraft though. Um, Let me see here. Um, so Z is north and south, X is east and west. Uh, and yeah, that makes sense because this first number, which is 116, that would be X, that's east and west because we're facing the, uh, the sun out here where the sun sets. Let me put a bed out here before we get in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. we've been and <laughs> we it's been we haven't slept in a good oh boy here we go. Got to make sure there's no mobs in here. 
I think it was just that spider. Okay. So, oh yeah, so if I, I can show you here, the sun should be coming up on this side. So there, if you look at the number on where it says position 116, that's east and west, because that's the east, the sun's rising in the east right now. So X is east and west, Z, which is the 46 number, is north and south. So since that's east, that's north right there. So when you head towards positive, you're going north. When you go negative, you're going south. And when you're going positive, you're going east. And when you're going negative, you're going west. But in any case, so our portal here is facing east and west. Or actually, it's facing west. And I believe the portal in the nether is facing north and south. That way, I guess they have to be opposite. Now, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. Oh, you know why? Because I was facing the other way when I entered the portal. It's okay. But this portal here is facing north and south. And the other one's facing east and west. So that's how you get it. So this way, when you come out, you face the way you face out when you come out. In other words, if you face in and enter the portal, you'll be coming out when you come out the other side. Uh, <laughs> I know that was a little bit of a thing, but that's driving me. That was driving me nuts for the longest time. I didn't never bother to figure that out. So that should help you if you're always running into a wall when you come through a portal. Um, you gotta pick up the sponges and then um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab some I've got bees not too far from here on this island not too far from the monument. I'm going to set up a beehive inside the monument. And hopefully we'll get... Um, check the audio. And hopefully we'll get some uh, honey, more honey blocks so we can make a much bigger machine. That is something you don't see all the time. But hey, you know, to each their own. So we gotta pick up all these um, sponges and then um, hopefully we can dry out the bottom here and move the uh, wall or build another wall on the other side of this. I was thinking maybe taking some of the glass we have already and using that oh that's the other thing I wanted to bring up today um, how to make circles in Minecraft um, there is a website and uh, let me see real quick and check the audio while I'm at it alright um, making circles in Minecraft 
Okay, I think it's it, it's under it's called uh, Dona Donat Studios dot com D O N A T Studios dot com Pixel Circle and over Oval Generator. So you go into the website um, and enter the I guess the width and height of the uh, circle, and then it'll show you the map of how to how to form it. On a grid and um, there's another website that you just enter the diameter and it'll do the same thing and that's what we're going to do today is um, I'm going to measure the coordinate from this end of the wall to that wall subtract it and that'll be our diameter for the um, well it's only a radius because it goes to the center almost of the monument but if you add the two together, you'll get the diameter and, um, or add this, or multiply it by two, you'll get the diameter. And um, we'll build the glass dome based on that uh, width. And um, I'll use that website to help us out. Um, I mean, you could really figure it out on your own, but it just saves you a lot of hassle in the long run by doing it that way, using the website. <laughs> yep. So we're going to knock out these sponges that I used yesterday and um, dry them out in the nether and then uh, maybe finish out the. We got a little bit of water left down below. Interesting. I don't know how I'm going to get to that one. Nice. Hmm. And remember the five minute rule. If you break something, you only get about five minutes. Ooh. get my trident out I am whoa there's another one in here holy mackerel Let's see if I, I can't shoot where is he gotta get that trident out and we gotta get our sponges before they uh, despawn out oh, there he is because I got water in here still they can still spawn Believe it or not, if you get below the, the grass, they, they can't see you. It breaks their line of sight. Let me change my helmet too, before I get uh, any more damage.
great. Let's make sure there's no more scalping up here. And also, if it's not well lit, <clears throat> you could get um, mobs spawning on the top of your wall as I'm talking. Let me see if I can put this bit down. Oh boy. Again, if um, you're thinking that this might be a lot of work, it really isn't. I haven't done this before, so I don't know the method or best routine of approaching this. So I'm doing this as I go. That's why it seems like it's taking forever to do this. But if you have a very large flying machine like this machine right here, if, you, if it's really gigantic and wide, you can knock it out. And, not even an hour if you do it properly but uh, all the sponges and stuff is because the sides of the flying machine can't touch any blocks or it'll stick to it so that's why you're seeing all the sponges here and if you if your machine machine if you're going to reuse your mach machine um, you gotta make sure the walls are shored up or the water that the machine got rid of, it'll flow right back in.
need to try to find a spot that's pretty close to most of them.
So what I'd like to do is dry out the sponges and then maybe set up the machine again right there and then finish drying out this portion and then go build another beehive inside the monument. So let's go grab some shut eye real quick. Um, I guess I can go down this way. Actually, I can do it right here. Maybe not. It's Minecraft physics. You gotta love it. I'm eventually gonna make a nice um, rail line. Oh, hello. That way we can uh, get a, a feel of model trains in our Minecraft world. That'll be maybe a Christmas thing to do. And also, I have to look up who is the Minecrafter who did this, but um, Avamance, I think, had brought this person, um, uh, had mentioned this person, and basically, this Minecrafter, she basically can make um, the Polar Express. Um, for another portals so that way when you enter the train and enter the portal you come out on another train and the same thing until you exit on the overworld again and it's all connected with different trains it's really cool kind of like uh, Harry Potter or the Polar Express one of the two um, didn't I have like a whole mess of sp oh it's inside this shulker okay I was <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute, something's not quite right. Um, yeah, let's get all this extra stuff out of this shulker. Not essentials, I should say. All right, we'll go into the. I should put this in there too. We'll go into the nether, dry out the sponges, and then reset the machine, finish out drying out the rest of this uh, section, and create a beehive. So again, I hope you guys, let me see if this audio is okay. Yeah, um, I hope everyone's uh, Monday's going well. Uh, please check out my YouTube channel, Twitch, uh, TikTok. And Twitter. If you go to my YouTube channel, I, ha I should have all of my different social media platforms uh, linked. So this way you guys can check out the whole shebang. Let's see. Let's first do. I guess that's all dried out, right? Yeah, it's just sponges. That's wet. Both of these are wet. So, oop. I think we got a bad guy down there. At least, I love it how they spawn right where there's light and there shouldn't be spawning. Maybe it's not lit enough.
All right. Let's go back and reset our machine, our flying machine, to uh, dry out the rest of the section of monument we uh, started. And that'll be the base, to, or the radius of the rest of the monument. Let me just check this audio one more time. Testing. Testing. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me for a second, I'm gonna grab a sip of coffee.
if you just joined the stream, welcome. Uh, we're trying to reset the uh, flying machine to finish drying out this portion of the ocean monument. And um, we're going to be grab grabbing some more bees to start a beehive over here. And um, maybe getting some more sand so we can move the wall over to another section and yeah hope you're having a good Monday hope your weekend went well just gotta pick up the stuff we dropped already thank you sir
I might have to check his video out again. Something's telling me I'm this bottom part's not right. Let me just pull up Silent Whispers uh, tutorial on YouTube, and that's what I'm using. To, uh, the flying machine is what I'm using. And that's what I'm using. Just checking the audio. All right. Um, Oops. Here we go. Blocks, your solid blocks right there, and then of course you need your observer and sticky piston. It really is identical every way you do it. Hmm. It looks like right here will be, but it's got to match this top section, so I don't understand. Um, I just, I guess I'll just go with it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's see. We have that. I think I got to put another, like right here, like that. Like I said, I ha I'm new to this. I've never used. I don't really use flying machines a lot, so I'm. Just, really happy I got it finally working. I tried messing with it before and I used to get really frustrated with it but this uh, tutorial seems to be working so I'm trying to keep up with it. Supposed to match the top section. I think that's fine the way it is like that. All right, I just got to put in observer, sticky piston. Right, that should do it. 
grab this stuff up top. And we're good to go. Let's put this stuff in here for now. Uh, I guess I got room. this need a bucket of water actually I don't I need to take the bucket away cross your fingers guys here we go So we are on 2764, 46 is where we got to put this obsidian, 2764 and maybe 45. should do it. That should stop it. And here we go. Let's see if I can make a clip. And there we have it. Again, because... Hmm. What's this? Sticky situation. Oh. Slide down a honey block to allow your something. But we achieved it. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> I have no clue what that was. Let me see. Um, I don't know where they have your achievements. I'll let you guys I'll let you guys know tomorrow. I don't follow the achievements as much. I think it's probably we're getting smacked by that machine as it was flying by. Alright, we just gotta dry out the rest of this and um it should be good to go. Um let's get to the top here. Dump off this excess. Okay. Maybe not. Um, hmm. Let's grab some sponges, I guess. I don't know. That should help. All right. Let me just dry this stuff off.
Uh, bear with me for a second. I can use the rest <laughs> the restroom real quick, and I'll be right back. Thanks. Thanks guys. Uh, so basically it's uh, slide down a honey block to slow your fall. So that's what that achievement was. All right, let's keep on drying this out.
Well, welcome to the uh, stream. Let me uh, just check the audio real quick. Yeah, glad you can make it. Uh, we are continuing. This is day six of trying out the Ocean Monument. Um, I'm using Silent Whisper's flying machine to accomplish this. But since I'm new to uh, using it, it's taken a little bit longer than normal and I don't have enough honey blocks. So I'm going to uh, actually build a bee farm right here. So that way you need to be um, actually close by to your um, farms in order for them to work. So since we're going to be here most of the time, I might as well set up a bee farm right here. And that way we'll get more honey blocks and I can make a giant machine instead of uh, th this is pretty much the size of this machine I have so far. It's, I can get it maybe half the size of this depth but if I get enough honey blocks I can make it all the way down to the sea floor. So that's the project for today is to get this stuff picked up. Uh, maybe get another wall set up on the other side and then start a bee farm over here. But I hope you guys are having a good Monday. Let me check the audio. Let me check the audio. Okay, sounds good. Um, yep, so ooh, I hope your weekend went well. We'll probably be doing this for about another, let me see what time it is. Probably for about another hour or half hour. I got some. I have a, a thing I have to do today, so I might have to cut the uh, stream a little short today. But yep, rest assured, this monument will be dried out. We'll be making a guardian farm. Turn uh, get some villagers over here, storage facility, the whole shebang. Also, um, what was I going to say? Um, I have glass, so we I have to show you guys how to go to this website. Uh, it it shows you how it, you give a, a diameter of a circle you want to make, and it shows you the diagram of how to make the circle in Minecraft. And uh, I always find it really helpful; it makes things a lot easier, it goes uh, much quicker than having to think it out, uh, think of it uh, as you go. But you can do that; it's not that hard. It's like playing Legos. You just have to eyeball it. Sometimes you uh, are a little off, sometimes you're not, but in the end, it always comes together somehow, some way. this machine apart anyway too so yeah but I just want to thank everyone who's been checking out my streams um if you have just um, became a member on my YouTube or subscriber on my YouTube channel, um, your names are not listed on the subscriber list. So just check to see if your name is anonymous or in other words, private versus public. And that will, if you set it to public, I'll, I should be able to see you list it with my other subscribers. And then I'll give you guys a statue and a name at the honor hall. But it's it's in fairness to the guys who whose names are listed. That's why I do that. And at the honor hall, which is my world spawn, um, I usually at the end of the day do uh, comments of the previous day. And I had one comment uh, yesterday for the stream I've been doing and. Uh, again, this is the Silent Whisperer's flying machine tutorial on YouTube that I've been using. So if you guys don't, you know, if, if it's hard to follow along with me, 
you can definitely go on to his webs uh, his channel on YouTube and um, say definitely say thanks and hi uh, for his tutorial because this fly machine is is a tutorial I followed and it works like a dream so definitely try it out uh, the reason why it's not going quick enough again is because uh, I don't normally use flying machines and especially not for drying out a, a ocean monument but it makes it go much faster normally I would just take stacks and stacks of sand and, until the things dried out but uh, the way he has it set up man it, it, it goes great it's really tremendous all right um <laughs> Let me pop this, dump some of this stuff down inside the chest we have inside the uh, monument here. Let me see if I can put some of this stuff over here. the rest of this in the chest I just think it's so ironic I um, set up a charge creeper farm and I have yet to find a rainstorm or a lightning over there well I found rainstorm over there but no lightning and it's been happening over here it's so funny See if I can put some of the stuff down below. Shouldn't say down below, but inside the monument, I'm actually above <laughs> where I'm standing at. stuff in here for now take this with me out there
So I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to measure the distance from this block <clears throat> to the center of the monument and that should be the radius of the circle let's check it out I'm at 1178 if you look at the position mark and that should be the Z is 1178 and then we're positive 1178 and then we're going to go to the center of the monument So it's 1178 to 1255. I gotta subtract that, and that'll give us our radius. So we're 77 blocks high and to the base it's 39 from 63. So if you look up pixel circle slash oval generator on Google or any search engine, you'll find this website. You enter in your width and your height, and uh, bada bing, you have your circle. Uh, uh, I guess your pixel diagram. So let me grab some shut eye real quick. So the well, the radius is 77. So I guess you have to multiply 77 times 2. Let me see. 77 times 2 is going to be 154 is going to be our radius. So when you go to the website, um, 
you just plug in the width, which would be 154. And the height's going to be 24. Width 154, and the height is going to be. Oops. Hmm. Interesting. All right, just put in 154 and see, let's see what that. Um, all right, and it generates a diagram. And all you have to do is just use that uh, as a basis to do the entire. Uh, I usually make a dome, so that it'll be the base of my dome. So it's, let me see here. It has one. Boy, it's hard to see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it has 18 at the end down here. So I'm going to grab my glass, which should be in my shulkers. Okay. We're going to go down here to the end. Um, yeah, that's the other problem. I got to make sure I'm in the center. <laughs> I got to make sure I'm in the center. I got to figure out which location. I think this, actually, this right here is on the center of it, but let me just double check. I think this is so this would be a good place to yeah actually these two right here so it's um 12 Could do a count of how wide this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, little odd number. These are the two blocks which is at the center of the monument. So, an 18 is so I would go maybe like nine on this side and nine on that side. So, since we've got these two, I gotta finish putting the glass in. Uh, let me just mute this real quick.
so the idea is um, to figure out another where to start the next section and what I'm doing is laying out the pattern what the dome is going to look like so it extends here and then it's going to come out a little bit and keep going out that way and so this way we don't waste too much resources to make the uh, walls um, I'm using that pattern to judge uh, when the next how far out the next section should be um, and we got quite a bit of sand here but I like to actually build that bee farm before we get started adding another wall that way while we're spending all this time doing this we could have the bee farm running probably like right down there and that way um, we can make a much bigger machine instead of having to worry about uh, making a wall. We can just keep forming the glass around it. Um, so I think I'm going to leave that there for tomorrow. We'll pick that up tomorrow. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll create a bee farm right there. And um, but uh, before I let you guys go, let uh, <clears throat> like to uh, go over to comment what the comment was and it wasn't bad it was a good comment and uh, I like to leave it hopefully every day at the uh, honor hall so let's go back there and um, this way I can let you guys go and get you find you a decent um, Minecraft room to read let me put my stuff back in here before I get all messed up but yeah not too bad we finally got this section all dried out um, put, these, put this glass in here I guess for now there 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 so that's pretty much let's get a picture of that And then tomorrow we'll get the uh, bee farm uh, set up and hopefully another section of wall put in. I think that bee farm is going to take us a little bit to do. But yeah, let's cruise on back to the honor hall. Uh, let's drop this stuff off here and here and put this in here. And that's pretty much it. Grab this. Actually, yep. Now we're good. All right, change my helmet out. <laughs> if you think this is ridiculous, doing all this prep after you uh, forget certain things and you'll get bashed a couple of times, you'll say, oh, okay. And you'll be doing the same thing I'm doing. So, yeah, all right. Um, let's head back to the honor hall. Yeah, I probably would hang a little bit longer today, but um, I definitely have to. I have to get my car. Sorry, my car has to get checked out. Um, what else? Um, a couple little errands around or I should say chores around my uh, apartment I gotta get done and as soon as that's all done we'll be ready to rock and roll man I really gotta catch up on my art stream too so you guys should get used to me only doing a couple of hours of Minecraft instead of, <laughs> instead of four uh, I'm trying to break it up where I would do two hours of Minecraft and two hours of art streaming before I do my U uh, Ubering um, I need to get some background music set up for my art stream so that way um, when I'm I, I can stream on OBS with my art stream I can't do it with Minecraft um, I only have a laptop and it don't handle playing Minecraft at the same time very well so if you guys want to help me out man become a follower on, on my twitch channel it's free all I need is uh, 49 more actually 48 more people on my um, twitch channel and therefore I'll be an affiliate.
So give me a second, guys, and I'll go over to Comet. Alright, and let me just double check the uh, list to make sure if there's any new names added to the list of my subscribers. I think I'm all caught up, but I have new subscribers, so again, if you guys want a statue, make sure your name is um, set for public and not private on YouTube, and then I'll see your name listed. Um, Twitch, you don't have to worry about that, I can see the list on Twitch, I, there's certain ones on YouTube I can't see. But um, there's another person who says uh, the name is Ganga, G-O-N-G-A, or Gungab96. Good video. That was from about an hour ago. And um, who else? Um, all right. That was Ganga96. And also, let me see here. Uh, uh, Jack Moon 7711 good job man and available from yesterday I believe also hello guys thank you so much for checking out my channel I'm up to 120 subscribers on YouTube I have a community tab uh, on my YouTube channel so check out the community tab I have a download link for this world and my discord uh, feel free to check that stuff out I always um, post on Twitter when I'm about to stream so if you want to join my Twitter account as well uh, become a tw twit tw <laughs> a Twitter member or follower that way you'll know uh, when I'm live uh, and also my discord I post on my discord when I'm about to go live so let's go find you guys a um, raid channel and I will see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Ho hopefully my man Forzen is online he's always there okay he likes playing that game lies of P I don't know that game that well but seems interesting and we'll pick up again where we left off today at 10 a.m. tomorrow and you guys have a fantastic day here we go thanks for stopping by guys I will see you tomorrow